Welcome back. So I think that chart is super interesting. So it helps us to see, wow, can happen quickly in real time, especially for sedimentary rock, it takes much, 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 much longer. Okay, so remember that we've been investigating this question, what causes sediment and magma to form? Hopefully you understand what causes that. If you're not sure, you need to go back and review the videos and make sure that you understand that or ask questions. Make sure that you, you understand it. Okay, so energy from Earth's interior is what drives magma to form and energy from the sun is what drives um, sediment to form. So we modeled how different energy sources change rock material in different ways. So the key concepts on the next three slides are gonna highlight what we've learned about what causes sediment and magma to form. So these are, remember at the beginning, I said we were gonna talk about them more in detail. This, here we go. So number, the key concept number four, sediment forms when any type of rock, any type of rock is weathered, a process driven by energy from the sun. Hopefully that makes sense, right? Like we know that granite is igneous rock and that's what's being shown, that's being weathered in the model. When you walk into the mountains, lots of times you'll see other rock, like little rocks around. That's what's being weathered or broken off of the mountain. It's not a solid piece that you see. Um, it is underneath, but it's being weathered on, on at the surface, which is where we are hiking. So this, the next key concept number five is magma forms when any type of rock any type of rock, I should have bolded that as well, is melted, a process driven by energy from Earth's interior. So the core of the Earth is what's driving the magma to form or to melt. So rock is being melted within the interior of the Earth by the energy from Earth's interior. And then matter gets transformed by energy but the same matter is still present. So the same atoms are contained in any of these rocks. So this rock formation is the Rocky Mountains, which is made up of granite, which then will get weathered into sediment. But even when it's super tiny, it still has the same matter as the rock did. The mountain, I guess, more specifically. Okay, so now here's time for you to think about your um, learning. So how do you feel about your understanding of how different energy sources change rock materials? Here are the two energy sources. Do you totally understand it and you're an expert? You think you're pretty good at understanding so you could teach it or, hey, energy, what is that even? So make sure you're kind of thinking about your learning and um, put down your, what you're thinking, put kind of, Mark where you think you are in learning these concepts. Alrighty, so thank you for working hard on this lesson and I will see you in Zooms. Get lots of learning done this week and I hope you also have a wonderful week. See you in Zooms.